Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel, and I'm now answering question number 15 from the June 2015 IAL International A Level LXL Core Mathematics C12 paper, C12. This is before the new specification, but this is a question which is from P2. Okay, the new P2 um, syllabus, uh, which is basically, this is to do with equations of circles, coordinate geometry and circles. So here we've been given this diagram, which is not to scale, of a circle. And inside the circle, you have this triangle. And the center of the circle marked P56. As it says, the circle shown in figure 4 has center P56 and passes through the point A, which is 12, 7. So this is a point 12, 7. All right, so we, we know that's the center. We know that's a point on the circumference A. Um, the circle passes through that point, 12, 7. It says, find the exact radius of the circle. So we've got to find the length between A and P. Okay, so what we need to do is find this length. The radius would be from the center to a point on the circumference where we have the center and we have a point on the circumference which we know its coordinates, which is A, which is 12, 7. So we can see that the radius is going to be the distance between A and P. This is the radius of the circle. So we want to find the exact radius of the circle. So we've got to find R equals the magnitude of the line between A and P. So we can use our formula. Um, we have the magnitude between two points, AB is equal to the square root of XA minus XB squared plus YA minus YB squared. Basically using Pythagoras' theorem, the difference distance between the X values is going to be this distance here and the distance between the y values is that distance there so you can find you can make a little triangle out of this and find the this is like the hypotenuse okay so basically that's what this equation does so if we take the coordinates of a so we've got the square root of a minus the a so the x coordinate of a minus the x coordinate of p that's 12 minus 7 sorry 12 minus 5 jumping the gun there that gives you seven but 12 minus five and that must be squared plus seven minus six seven take away six that must be squared also so that's going to give you seven squared which is 49 plus one which is uh, that's going to be 50. okay so it's a square root of 50 which we can write in simplified serve form as 25 times root two which is five root two so it says find the exact radius it's going to be five root two we could just stick this inside our calculator and get the answer by doing the following. Um, you know, just putting this 12 minus 5. So you could put it exactly as it looks now. Squared plus 7 minus 6 squared. And that gives you, as you can see, 5 times root 2. So there's the answer to part A. Then it says, find part B says, find an equation of the circle. Now, the equation of a circle, okay, the general form for the equation of a circle when we know the center and the radius is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared, where a and b is basically the center of the circle and r is the radius. So if we know the center, and the radius, we can find the equation of the circle. So we know that the radius is equal to 5 times root 2, or we can say the square root of 50, that will be easy for us here. And we know that the center of the circle, the center of the circle is given is a point P. So we know that the center is a point P, okay, as we see here, which is 5, 6. So we know the center of the circle is P. 5, 6. So we can just apply this formula x minus the x coordinate, which is 5 squared plus y minus the y coordinate, which is 6, and that's all squared, equals r squared, which is root 50 squared, which is 50. So here we have the equation of the circle. Let me write that 6 so it doesn't look like a b. Okay, so there's the answer to part b of this question. It says find an equation of the circle. Um, you can also express this in expanded form, but there's no need whatsoever to do that here. That's perfectly fine as your answer. And that's part A and B done. Now for part C. 
It says an equation of the tangent to the circle at point A. Okay, so an equation of the tangent to the circle at the point A. Now, here's a diagram um, just copied over from the other page. Now, the equation of the tangent to the circle at the point A. Now, the tangent to a curve basically just brushes the curve without passing through it. So the tangent to this curve at A will touch the circle at A, but it won't cut through the circle. So it has a, it's like you could say it has the same gradient of the circle at that point A. Okay, so the tangent to the point A is going to look something like this. I'm trying to draw it a bit more accurately. You don't have to draw it here, but I'm just um, illustrating it just so we can see what's going on. So we have to find the equation of this line. We've got to find the equation of this tangent. The tangent is a straight line. To find the equation of a straight line, we need two things. We need the gradient of the tangent, and we need a point that it passes through. Well, we know that it passes through the point A, which has a point coordinates 12, 7. So I know it passes through the point A, 12, 7. So if I know the gradient of the tangent, I can then write down or find the equation of the, the straight line, equation of the tangent. Now, what we can do is we can use the fact that the tangent to the circle okay, meets the radius at right angles. Okay, So the tangent meets the radius at right angles. So you could say the normal to the, to the tangent at point A will definitely pass through the center of the circle because this must be a right angle. Okay, Because the, the, radius, the radius meets the tangent at right 90 degrees. So the gradient of this line, the gradient of AP, we can find because we have these two points. And I know the gradient of this is going to be the negative reciprocal of the gradient of AP. Okay, because the tangent is perpendicular to the radius at the point where it hits the circle. Right? This is, you could say, the normal to the circle. This is the tangent to the circle. So they want to find the equation of the tangent to the circle at point A. So I'm going to find the gradient of the line AP, which is going to be the change in Y. So we can say 6 minus 7 over the change in X, which is 5 minus 12. Okay, 6 minus 7. Okay, over 5 minus 12, which is going to give you negative 1 over negative 7, which is 1 over 7. So we can say, therefore, the gradient of the tangent is a negative reciprocal of this, which is negative 7. So the gradient of the tangent is negative 7. So therefore, I have this as negative 7 now. I can now use um, either y equals mx plus c, or I prefer to use is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. I much prefer to use this, um, especially for later on type of work. But this is your x1, and this is your y1. So we can say y minus y1, which is 7, equals m, which is negative 7, times x minus x1, which is 12. Okay, so that's the point on the line. Um, so we can say y take away 7 equals minus 7x plus 84. Okay, so you can write it as y equals minus 7x plus 84 plus 7, which is 91. Or we could write it in this form if you want to. We could write, we could go from here, we can say, okay, let's put everything on one side of the equation. So you have 7x plus y minus, 80, minus 91 equals 0. Just subtract 84 from both sides. This or this, both of these are this is the answer, that's fine, or this is the answer. Either of those are acceptable ways of writing the answer, either in the form y equals mx plus c or ax plus by plus c equals zero. You can write it in either way, and it's perfectly fine as your answer. So there's the answer to part c of this question, finding the equation of the tangent to the circle at the point a. Now for part d. Um, actually, part D is to do with the um, cosine rule. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save part D in a separate video so that I can split this up according to topic. So part D will be in the separate video. So if you want to see um, other parts of um, this paper, including part D, you will find the um, link over here appearing at the end of the video that will take you to the other questions from this particular paper c12 june 2015 including part d of this question if you want to see questions dealing with uh, coordinate geometry of p2 which is to do with circles and equations of circles you can find um, the link over here at the end of the video 
And if you would like to subscribe to the channel, you can click on the link in the middle here. Thank you for watching and see you soon.